range creeps away from them. And also managed to do a fair bit of damage. Just need to be careful as FBZ and Hyde do come back around. FBZ himself also needs to make sure he doesn't get anywhere close to that of 1910, who does go for a bit of damage onto Hyde. Slows him with the open wounds. Just trying to force the Nyx assassin away, and that will be that. Nothing more to threaten him with. He would have the have the rocket flare, but you're right, it won't be soon enough with the Dark Seer tangoing up. FBZ will be fine. Top lane. Now may I have to trap Keskyu into the cogs? The battery assault, Keskyu. He will be the first to fall. First blood going the way of Forza. Down bottom, FBZ. I mean he's he's really playing it on the edge. Again, the, the Tango regen should keep him safe. Pops the Soaring, goes for the TP out, and will manage to make it away in time. As, uh, yeah, skill-wise, Chu did take the second point of Battery Assault to make sure he continues to, to pretty much dominate this lane now. Not only just killing off the Lich, but being able to chase down Dreamer Cell. Keep repeating it every single time. He gets close to hit a creep. Even if he's low, drop the Venomous Gale. If Clockwork is around, use the Battery Assault. Uh, this lane is gonna be disaster on the top. Look oh at Ursa CS 15. And Venomancer, I just hope he's gonna go for Spirit Vessel. Get that uh, overtime damage. Oh, that's gonna be a big kill. Yeah, well, oh. Gibkey does manage to get himself in a bit of a spot of bother. Boom, chase him down, a little too deep and alone. AA, they do have some good sort of tick damage ways to deal with the TA down the line, but still, it doesn't matter. If Makoto gets like a quick death, so he's still going to be able to three-shot these heroes in, in that early portion of the game. Mid lane, again, Gibki comes straight back into the into the action, but Makoto's oh, forced sure him back already. Here. That's a TP into his death, especially with the backup of Keskyu. Slowing down Vanscore, the Frost Shield, enabling Makoto to close the gap. Hyde has to be a little careful. He's looking for the stun. He knows that Gibki is still around. Gibki will show. Hyde does not want to come back in to offer up a stun. He's too low and knows with Chu coming in, he doesn't want to risk hanging around. They get the cogs out, trapping Makoto underneath the tower. Fairy Can fire. Kezku save him? The refractions back up and Makoto will be able to walk away to safety. And they're still keeping this siege creep alive, which deals a uh, huge amount of damage to the tower. Good rotations. Uh, this is how we play with DA. Side to see any kind of approach uh, that Boom wants to make. See this down bottom, Makoto. He's actually looking to get involved before he has the Blink Dagger out on him. Surge forward, tries to go in onto Chu. Mass TP's coming in from Forza as Makoto won't be able to finish off the kill. What sort of items are we seeing on him? I think some of these are the of the uncommon variety. And oh, we even caught a common, common Oh, the yikes. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. That's not going to help you win. Bottom lane, Chu. She's got a bit of backup here. FBZ. Oh, what Ooh. you going to do? All right, they get the trade. One for one up top. Trying to go for Gibkey, but Gibkey's got 19 teen around as quickly as Makoto gets in there. Let's just start backing off. The battle hunger will be there, but the refraction's still up. He can blink back. No harm done. Tier 1 tower on the mid lane. They're actually planning to defend this one. I'm not sure if they can do it. The axe runs in. It's just a little too hard to find that call with Makoto having the blink up, and now, boom, they're ready to fight this. Popping the old Dreamer Cell tries to get on top of Vanscor, but he's been slowed movement down. Speed. He cannot run. He cannot chase this. As he'll die for that attempt, Vanscourt can live. The Chain Frost is thrown out, but Forza are easily able to separate. Make sure that minimal damage is done for the TA. But he just has to make up for so, so many other problems on the rest of his team. In mid lane, they get the dream jump. Forza's able to catch him out. If they, as long as they can catch the TA, this game is looking very comfortable for Forza right now. There's FBZ. Also be found, does manage to get a bit of help from the Nyx Assassin, but it's not enough. So he's going to get punished. He's going to get locked down and controlled by Forza's lineup that's just so hard to fight into because of all this AoE, these slows, these, these ways of disrupting the team fights. Push back with the cogs onto Kezku. Does manage to get the Chain Frost out, but again, they quickly split. Chu will fall. Makoto is able to be in position with the drag back. They're able to set up for a second. This time, boom. Managed to kick back hard, get a couple of kills. But they can chase down Gibkey, but he's a little too fast. They don't want to continue to push on. They're happy with taking the team fight as it is, as they do get themselves a, a successful trade. Team fight on top of face boots and Vindlays. He's running good with the 500 move speed once he activates it. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's you know if that blink doesn't quite get you straight on the target, you are still going to be able to close the gap up top. FBZ scored outside of the base. Disgusting. Look at that. The you just overtime damage. Venomancer, 2000 HP. This hero's not dying. Another hook shot. Oh, and another kill. Hyde is trapped. 
Spirit Vessel might show that there's no chance of him walking away. Just for both Ursa and Temple Assassin. Oh, look at this guy, Chew. He's just actually able to walk up and cogs FBZ. Uh, jump in with the call, make sure that there's no further getaway. Makoto does manage to get round to the back lines and kill off the Venomancer. Dreamer Cell, seeing what he could do here with this BKB reveal, and does manage to to get the, the second kill onto Chu. So another situation where Boom do manage to, to take the good trade. Dreamer Cell, the BKB could not have come at a better time. As inside the their half of the map, though, still Forza are still hanging around and will catch out Kezku. This is mid-axe, remember. He's still gonna get the farm, but uh, he does not scale with the items as other mid heroes. Look at the Aegis. Two. Leading the charge. Hookshot available. Hyde is gonna come sw swinging by, and oh, that's at the opportunity that presents itself. Hyde does have backup, though. Maybe Boom can fight into this. Dreamer Cell looks to jump forward, but he instantly gets called. There's the combo. Ice Blast out. And a bit of a bait ends up as a very successful play there for Forza. Axe still chasing. That's the attempt of initiation. Turns Halberd, TP out, that'll do it. Nothing else to, to catch him out, so he continues to play around. And in fact, bottom Makoto has been found alone. The vacuum does drag the two of them away, but they'll get back on top of him, dunk him down, Gibki with the kill. And now they could try and chase for FBZ, who drops the wall. And continue to chase this movement speed from Gibki just too much for even the Dark Seer to deal with. The call comes out, another surge is there. He just needs to find the dunk. He's not going to get it. There's the blink. There it is. He is going to find it. Blink up, Gibki with the slam down. Six, one, and five. Having an, an incredible time as this mid axe. Not the greatest of beginnings was a lane where the TA got a lot, but the way that Force is playing, they're using this, this early game power that their lineup has very impressively to to really force Forza to, to play in an, a very tough position until Makoto has his BKB done. 19 Teen still has just the 30 seconds to play around with this this uh, Aegis is draining they go. They get the initiation again. Chu never misses an opportunity to get in and find a, a quick guaranteed kill. Once more, the Frost Shield slowing them down a little bit, but Forza, they're not heading back anytime soon. They'll take the tower. See what they want to do now. 19 is going to know that the Aegis is about to go. It's just five seconds and it will expire. Gibki is actually looking for the jump and he's going to find it. Straight in onto the Lich. Another easy kill on the support. Dreamer Cell is trying to find a support trade and will get it, but he's now caught in the cogs. Disarmed as well. Messing around with him. He does manage to jump over the cogs with the Earth Shot. And still chasing. Another surge saves Dreamer Cell. He can split himself from Forza. Sure that he has it for the guaranteed pickoffs that Forza can find. And slow siege begins. Life stealer, a couple of wards uh, plus a siege creep. When I say slow siege, I don't mean they're just gonna kill the tower. They also have uh, uh, the dragon thing, what's it called dragon scale. Now all adds up. Uh, it's making for a, a very hard push for for Boom to be able to push back. Tier three's gone, and even without the ages, you know, 19 knows how strong he is right now. It's so hard to approach. Uh, they have the vision. Rockets flying over them. Uh, you have this. Venovords uh, cancelling the blink daggers. I mean, they're, they're, sort of, they're just taking the racks in front of them. These racks are slowly dying. Boom's gonna have to do something soon. But it's very hard for them to go in. They'll get the drag back. There's a, there's a oh, mistook shot. Caster's curse. I was gonna say, he's been pretty on point with them so far, but they're able to split it in the mid. Gibki. Charge for the TA grab, won't get it. Dreamer Cell's outside the base. He's going to look to try and chase down the AA. Vanscor in trouble. They'll get out with the BKB. Makoto commits, takes down the Ancient Apparition. Chu, he's holding Kezku on the back lines with the cogs. Dreamer Cell turns towards his next target, trying to go for BZZ, chasing him down through the wall. But Gibki's in with the taunt. Doesn't save BZZ though. BZZ still goes down. Buybacks are coming out for Boom. They have to help their Ursa. Another disarm stops him from finishing off the clockwork. But Chu, he's low. The Chain Frost takes him out. They've found three Boom and they're not done yet. What more can they find? They'll look to Towards 19 teams. Pull back with the favor. Gibki gets the call off. Life stealer. They've got the turn potential. They look towards Makoto. Mikoto is able to move Where away in time. He's trying to run. He's trying to kill the creeps to remove the battle hunter, but he cannot do it in time. Gibki dunks him down and now goes over towards Dreamer Cell. Another call. Another kill. Forza take the Ursa out of the game and move straight up to the high ground. Gibki just playing incredibly aggressive as this axe. What was Ursa doing? Like, they outnumbered them. They had four heroes against only two left on Forza. Yeah, Life Slayer is hard to take down. Heaven's Halberd was also on cooldown. The base, I guess they've already been struggling with the base defense. Maybe they could, but 
Even if they decided to do so, they didn't make the decision quick enough. Roshan's taken. Aegis and Cheese goes the way of Forza and Chu. He's already caught out the bear outside of it all. Jumps in. Dreamer Cell's found. The hook shot into the call from Act. The, he's down for 50 seconds. Kez Cube falls. A dieback effectively on the Lich as he's gone for over a minute. They're running into the base. Four stars there, but the drag back with a vacuum will separate him from FBC. Still, though, Gibkey with this movement speed, he can just run in, call him back, trying to punch his way out. But the cold feet will prop. Darkseer is dead. And Forza are just really starting to run over Boom right now. Forza is playing so well. The chemistry between the players is extremely good. You can see Lifestealer entering X immediately after with the Shadow Blade. They're finding uh, another opportunity. Same goes for this Clockwork. He missed that one hook shot, but it uh, didn't matter. Every single other one was on point. Absolutely. Well, 7, 4, and 14 involved in 21 of the 24 kills that Force has had. Chu being a, a real sort of driving force in the, these constant plays that Force has been able to pull out in this 30 minute game so far. And up to the top lane. I mean, boom, they couldn't do anything about this bottom. They couldn't do anything about this mid. It's very unlikely they are going to have any sort of answer to stop this push. They just have to sort of watch these racks go. They'll try for a jump in with the vacuum. But as soon as they poke, they have to retreat. They just do not have the follow-up. They do not have the farm or the levels. Gibkey is just able to play as aggressive as he likes with this, you know, this sort of Shadow Blade Link build. This isn't necessarily a tanky axe, but he doesn't need to be. Every time he goes in, he knows that Boom just don't have the capabilities to deal with his aggression. Even though they'd seen four of the heroes, they obviously felt themselves that this was a game that Ursa could play. It, 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 it kind of wasn't. Ursa did not have a game. I don't think it was a good Ursa game to start with uh, after seeing all these kiting potential overtime damage and they instantly snapped that mana mancer. Yeah. They were not even thinking about it. I'm trying from Chu. Doesn't mean the Chain Frost will continue to bounce quite a bit. Chu actually does end up dying to the Chain Frost, so... And one for one, Mikoto pots the BKB, is looking for BZZ. We'll go for the TP out before his magic immunity ends, so he can get back towards the base. Gibki just running down Dream, who does jump across, gets Vanscore. See if they can do anything to help him out, though. Boom, they need to help their Ursa. Surge forward, FBZ's trying to head over to give him some sort of safety, but Gibki, relentless with his chase, does not get the contact with the call, so Dreamer Cell can continue to run. And get the Yules up already there. The good game's coming out for Dreamer Cell, at least in the Allied chat. Yet to call it in the All chat. But you know that it's going to be coming pretty soon. And, and there it is. Boom. They'll tap out. They've had enough of this one. GG is called. And Forza with a, a pretty solid win here in game one. They have some great heroes that just made it impossible for, for both of sort of the position one and the three for Boom to ever play.